Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we're trying Maxima Tour from the Augusta Nebroi Wagner out of München, Germany. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, we are back here at Hopped Up Beer Review to do another beer review show for you. And this is the place where you get our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. Be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell as well as check us out on social media. Links are below in the description. And come say hey to all three of us in Discord. We would love to chat you up there and uh, love to hear your opinion about the show as well. Uh, for the time being, though, we are here to do a beer review. I got Andy in the attic. I got Jay. What are we drinking since it's German? Andy. <laughs> Maxima Tour from the Augustiner Breu Wagner out of Munich, Germany, or München, Deutschland. So I was going to reference it later on, but uh, as I told you earlier, off record um and it's hard and hard to see it the label on the top is not or the uh, the stamp on the top is not on their label so doubtful that this will come through in um beer land so There's a bottle of cap not really what is it on the cap is it the same something thing? different no, it's different on the cap okay yeah. Well, I'm gonna um, crack it and start drinking. Yeah, because I'm thirsty. And, oh, this foil comes up pretty well. Yeah, it does. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spew. Benjamin, I'm gonna take you it go next. slow here. <laughs> yeah. Who got I'm a spear, Ben? Benjamin. This is one we got at Hop City. Is it? Yeah. And mine spewed a little bit too. So for uh, sure. So, it's a giddy up, Andy. <laughs> Got your towel ready? Yes, I do. I'm actually going to lay the towel down right underneath. Yeah, before. I got mine down there. So, <laughs> this one that you got, Ben? Yeah, I think this is one I got. I picked up at Hop City when we were right, there. When we were all um, there. Yeah. So, it's one I grabbed. Uh, Thought the thought the label was interesting and and one I'd not seen or or had before. So, you know. the good thing about having this light, I can see if it's gonna. <laughs> I'm doing a slow release. I am lying. I got this in Helen, Georgia. Yeah, uh, I thought this was a Helen. Yeah, yeah. yeah Helen, that's kind of what I thought. I didn't yeah. think this was a pop city necessarily. Yep. No. I, I, I'm wrong. That's so. all right. <sighs> Come on, man. <laughs> Just got to pull the plug. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> <We're>, slowly inching. <laughs> all the viewers are waiting to see what happens. Let them wait. <laughs> all the viewer. So yeah. this is a doppelbuck, right? A doppelbuck. Doppelbuck? Yes, meaning more than one <laughs> buck. So... The... I'll get so, into. I'll, I'll nerd out later. So, cheers, right. mates. You ready? <laughs> cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Go ahead and give it him. So it's a a double buck, or you know, a higher alcohol content than a regular buck. Um, this one is 7.5%. Um, Maxima Tour out of the Augustin and Broy Wagner. So the first Doppelbach that we reviewed was the Spaten. And back then I had mentioned that typically um, when you see a the suffix a-t-o-r that's going to refer to a doppelbach 
So Celebrator, uh, we said Andy, Andy Gator uh, from Abita yeah. is a double box, things like that. So the, the Iyinga was the, the Celebrator. Um, this one, so this brewery, Augusta Nabroy, started in 1328. And it was started at a brewery or at a um, monastery of the Augustinian, Augustinian monks there in Munich. Uh, they they didn't the, the the breweries founded excuse me the monastery was founded in 1294. Brewery started they started referencing beer brewing in 1328. Now it was and it went all the way through to 1803, and then that's when um, secularization occur, and the state the German state took over um, the monastery and the brewery. So monks left the German state owned or whatever region that was took over and continued the beer brewing in 1817. It sold, it, it privatized. 1829 is when Joseph Wagner, uh, the family acquired the brewery. And what I tried to show on the label is their trademark um, to show it's like a, it's a, an, a bishop's staff with the JW um, initials around it for Joseph Wagner. So they did, a, it's a reference to the Augustinian monks, um, the, ab, the abbot or the bishop. And that's, so on the label, you see a, someone that looks like an abbot or a bishop in their staff. So yep. back in those times, mm -hmm. the bishop, when things were run kind of by the, the church for over the government. The bishop was one of the most powerful people back then. So pretty big deal to have the bishop staff and show it's like a symbol of power back then. He still is, isn't he? It just depends on where you are in life. <laughs> where you are, yeah. <laughs> what religion you uh, put stock in and where you live in the world, I guess. Right. I think if you watch, um, it was a TV show years ago. What was it? Henry the Eighth. Uh, oh, you talking called. about the Showtime, the Tudors? Yeah, the Tudors, uh, and how yeah. influential the the Bishop Cardinal and the Cardinal the, uh, Rashomon. I don't remember uh, who it was, but how 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 influential the clergy uh, was, you know, at least portrayed in that in that series. Yeah. Um, so well, depending on which parts of the world. Depend, you know, their clergy, their religious leaders might hold some stock uh, in that country's um, ruling, not just ruling, but influence over the political leaders' decisions. Now, this particular beer, the Max Maximator, we call it Maximator, but the Maximator uh, in German, it didn't premiere till 1950. So it's not the oldest wow. of brews older than us yeah and interesting you know because we had the the foil on top of the the crown here um you know on, on the on the crown it actually has a date of 1487 uh which is interesting when the bottle says 1328 yeah i did not come across that date so 1427 what do you see there uh that's not gonna focus no. quite right but i don't have that no on the on the bottle cap oh on the actual cap i was yeah. like yeah since 1487 the munchner oh wait um that is reinheitsgebot that is the degree uh purity law oh. uh for munich got it Got it. See, uh, see all, all the German I'm, beer, the run heights. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you keep up with that. <laughs> all right. Has anybody had this one before? Yes. What? Yeah. Yep. Jay had it recently. <laughs> I've had it. 
<laughs> yeah, I noticed that on Untap. You even had it recently. <laughs> Sorry, yep. Ben. Spoiled your thunder. I brought back something from <laughs> special German beer. Y'all have <laughs> Yeah, I had it, uh, you know, with, with this fall. Yeah, with all of us, like, uh, I think it was October, November time frame, but with us expanding our horizons on on the show, I mean, it's it's opened me up to a lot of different uh, styles and <laughs> beers. And so when I was in the bottle shop, I thought, well, that's a really cool label and a neat beer. I'll give that one a whirl. So yeah <laughs> what <laughs> all right man <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh with that then i guess jay will be going last as per <laughs> tradition of our show if you've had the beer you don't go first uh unless we've all had the beer um so uh andy's talked a little bit so i guess i'll go first here uh so um <laughs> I think that, you know, I think it's, I think it's a good beer. Um, it, it's hard to find a German beer that's bad, right? I mean, have we found one yet? Anyone? No. Um, but, you know, I think when, when I think back to the spot and double block that we've had, that, that was, I was not a big fan of that one, honestly. Um, and I had had it previous to us reviewing it on the show. So I kind of knew what we were getting into. But this for me is more what I kind of expect out of a Doppelbach. Um, it, it, the, the, the one, the spot and one, I think actually on the label, it, it mentions it's a malt liquor. Um, and it just, I, just the flavors are not quite there for me on that one. And obviously you can go back and watch that review to see what we think of that. But what I'm trying to get at is when I'm looking for a Doppelbach, this is what I'm looking for. Um, I think this one, this one is, is, is great. Uh, it has a great flavor. Um, it's an eight for me for sure. Yeah. I remember a little bit about the spot and then I remember liking it more than you did. Um, <laughs> I like the, the malty flavor, you know, caramelized. I like dark beers. Uh, it's got a little, carbonation to it i can feel feel the burps coming up but it's good i'm gonna agree i give it an 8.0 uh, it's a it's a fun drinker it it does taste a little heavy uh, it's it's not like and you know seven and a half percent you know you can you can feel that but just it's a it's a a beefy beer you know so to say it's a, it's it's not a outside by the pool type of beer no at least so, so you're saying the beer that spewed on all three of us is, is heavily carbonated? <laughs> yes. Trying to mask my burps. Yeah. Go. So yeah, all right. I mean, all I, right, Mister, I've had this beer. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, obviously, it intrigued me. I mean, uh, from the beer show, I, you know, normally if I prior to uh, us doing all this, I would have just gone in and said, "All right, what's your new IPAs?" No, I mean it's it's broadened my horizons. I mean, I'm I'm intrigued by all different walks and flavors of life and in, uh, in the brewery world. So uh, I pay a lot more attention to the German, Belgian, the international sections, um, and then you know all of course all the local sections. And this label caught my eye, so I was like, oh, that's really cool. I, I need to try that one. And look at that full on there. Wow. So yeah, I picked Full up one. Oh, good. I picked up one. I mean, it was fancy. Come Full on. There. So <laughs> call by the marketing, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, why not? It, it's I it's know. a it's a great marketing ploy. Um, you know, I, I do think it's it's really heavy on the malt and it's sweet to me. Um it, it's got that sweetness, and like Andy said, this is really heavy. Uh it's not a day drinker, it's not a multi multi beer, in my opinion. I, I couldn't sit here and have two, three of these. I mean, um, but that said, it's a it's a great beer. Um, and, and I rated a seven and a half. Uh, so yeah, I, I think the combination of the heaviness and the carbonation, yeah, definitely speaks to the point you're making about this is kind of probably a, a one and done uh if you have a a 
four or six pack of this uh for sure yeah i mean it's one it, it's great to pull out if you you want uh, to me this is more of a a fall or a winter beer i don't know i, I if that's true or not but mm -hmm. it would seem like that from the the flavor profile and heaviness and have maybe one of these and then switch to a lighter beer afterwards or, or maybe the reverse do a lighter beer and then follow up with this to close it mm -hmm. out so yeah and i'm gonna go ahead and say that words that you'll never hear out of my mouth are what are your new ipas I, i'm not gonna say that yeah <laughs> that's not a, it's not gonna be a question i'm gonna ask uh, so it's either what are your new ipas or what do you have that might be a barrel aged you know or, or limited or unique you, you know how it goes i mean some of those sours that we get that are from funkatorium or uh it, the the latest that i've run across in the bottle shop is they have the 50 50 eclipse the uh, barrel age that they've done and and i haven't tried one yet but i've got probably half a dozen different varieties of them where they barrel aged them and anything from buffalo trace barrels to high west to uh eagle rare um and then you know they've been doing that for well over I think it's about 12 or 13 years now. Um, and all of those that they, they sell are, so you don't, you know, you can, you can store them away and they're still good. Yeah. And you actually posted a picture of that in our discord. So mm -hmm. if you haven't uh, joined our discord, come out and take, uh, you know, check the description, uh, hop on our discord because uh, we're having discussions about the beer that we're drinking that we're not necessarily reviewing uh and, and you can reach out to any any of us there yeah. uh we're a fun group you know i mean obviously if you're watching this show you know how <laughs> fun and and chatty awesome. we can be so uh come, come check us out on discord uh for sure and there's some great other personalities in there i mean yeah, yeah. it's not just us there, there are yeah. other people you, there you, that you have people from show. all all walks of life and all across the world so yep other reviewers Mm -hmm. other beer uh beer tubers uh as the term has probably been going somewhere <laughs> else um so uh we, we have a, a good group there and would love to see you there if you are not a part of that all right that's going to give us a 7.8 for the maximator from a brewery that amy can pronounce and i cannot uh so go back and check the tape and he will give you that brewery name at the beginning of this video um definitely let us know what you think if you've had this one if this is one that you uh enjoy uh we'd love to hear that feedback be sure to like subscribe and share that notification bell and like i said before come check us out on discord and other social media links below for andy in the attic and jay i am ben cheers mates cheers mates